Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a little unboxing for you. And then a little craft project with the things I'm unboxing. It's the Your Creative Studio monthly subscription box. Which comes like this. It's always gorgeous, the packaging. Uh, we've got the card inside which always gives you a little hint as to what the theme is. So it's looking floral this month. What does it say? If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Marcus Tullius. I can't read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not right good at pronunciation of things. Right, I'll take this out. I've zoomed in a little bit today, so I need to be careful to keep in shot. Yeah, Hermes man... I've chucked this one about a bit this month. So, but well, it's every I've had a quick sneak peek, everything seems to be intact. Or just a little bit wrinkled. Right, so as this fell out, let's look at this first. We've got a wooden stamp. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Alright, it's a vase. You've got the grass, the flowers. Lovely, lovely red rubber stamp. I'm going to get some use out of that. Right, I've got to open this carefully because the paper is brilliant for pages in junk journals or when you're making your collage masterboards. Anything and everything. Any collage whatsoever, I suppose. I'll put a hole in it. Oh, well. The world did not indeed end. Ooh, what have we got? So, oh, I love these. The faux postage stamps, lovely poppy ones, other flowers. So we've got those. Oh, what's this? This looks like a little, like a little random bag of some bunches of flowers. There's a dried flower in there and vellum stickers. I'm not going to open that because it looks like with my box getting a little bit battered in post, my dried flowers are a little bit broken so I'll open that more carefully so I can catch all the pieces oh it's another, so there's another wood stamp as well this month Ooh. Yeah, if you're interested in one of these boxes all the links will be in the description below oh it's a wheelbarrow with flowers in, I love it I do love these kind of stamps yeah, all your links will be in the description box below. You can buy one box or you can subscribe. There is a discount if you subscribe to more than one. Ooh, look at that. That's more stamps. Oh, I love that wallet that it's in. Is, is it resealable? Yes. Oh, that's a brilliant way to store stamps in general, that, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Got a watering can, gloves, old gardening implements, a few little words. Got a hat. This is Time Gardening Bloom Happy. Oh, they're right good. I like those. We've got washi tape. Oh, it's not just ordinary washi tape this time. It's the ones when you pull them up, when you take them apart, they look like tickets or postage stamps. Oh, I like those. If you watch me regular, you know I love pink. You know I love roses. Oh, look at those. Yeah, the last collage I did, it was pinks and greens. My simple collage. Oh, I'm liking this kit this time. They're sticky notes, but you don't have to use them as sticky notes. They're brilliant, just stuck down onto something else to make journal cards or tags. Or just labels, tuck spots in your journals, anything you want. Oh, these are fabulous. I'm going to open this one. Oh, these feel lovely. I thought they were going to be shiny, but they're not they're quite matte. I really like it. There's something about matte things. They, they look more expensive. I don't know why. Oh, and that's not a bright white. That's lovely. So if you did want to just pop these in pockets for journaling on, do a little bit of inking on edges if you're an inker. But otherwise, you don't need to do anything to those. So we've got the watering cans. Oh, we've got gnomes. Oh, they're so cute. Cheeky little gnomes. Garden forks and trowels. Oh, I'm liking these. Ooh, 
you know, I'm liking the quality. It's um, hmm, it's a little bit better than a yeah, uh, yeah. Another fellow we know who has ranges of little mm, things like this. I'm not mentioning names. Yeah, the die cut really well. It's very central. We've got an even amount of the background all the way around. I like that. Oh, look at those little snails. Oh, what's this one? Oh, is it one of those? Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. It's a garden hose reel, I think. I think it is. I'm really not sure. Could be. I don't do a lot of gardening. Can you tell? Oh, a creepy crawler. That's one for Zoe's box. And some more. Yeah, buckets with roses in. Oh, I really like those. Pop those to one side. What are these? Oh, they match beautifully these this time, these kits. I think I can just you could throw a little journal together pretty quick. Oh look, they're exactly the same as cutouts, but the stickers. They are the vellum -y stickers as well. Oh no, they're, oh they're not vellum, are they? They're completely see-through acetate stickers. They're on a kind of a vellumy background. I like. Oh, I like these. Paper ephemera. Let's see what different patterns we've got in here. Oh, I think I need to make a little folio with this. I do. Really nice. The work's done for you on these, isn't it? You can add something more to that one. That's a bit plainer. Oh, that's pretty. So you've perhaps got two or three of each, it looks. Yeah, two of each design. Oh, I like that. I love that wood background. My Porch Prints did a lovely kit like this that I use quite often just to print out as backgrounds for journal cards. Is it weathered wood or something? Very pretty. Oh, and there's some vellum. So I'll pop that there and have a look at the vellum. Oh, yeah. Love a bit of vellum. So there's one of each design in the vellum. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. You've got eight vellums and I'm guessing 16 of the papers because there's two of each design in those. Really like those. And what is this? Oh, is this a tissue? Is this tissue paper? I think it could be. Now that's exciting. I could throw some on some buttons. Well, stick some carefully on some buttons, not exactly throw it on the buttons. Yeah, it's tissue paper. I'm always wear it, but I'm not even going to try it. Look, I'm ruining Air Jump sticker. And it's not just these. Any delicate paper, when I get them in these packets with sticky on edge, I like to cut that off because I'm really good at ruining it when I tuck it in and out of the packet. You can just go in the bin. Oops, I'm moving everything. Now we can take it out and look at it without any accidents because that would not be a happy accident would it that would be an unhappy accident we don't want any of those in the craft room <laughs> i can't get it out oh, i'm all fingers and thumbs i don't understand that saying because i am all fingers and thumbs but i still say it oh the separate pieces of tissue paper brilliant oh, that's going to be so good for decoupage so we've got one Two, they are all the same, these, but they're so gorgeous. I don't mind. Three, five pieces. And they look to be about six by six. I will just get my ruler and measure it just to see. Just to see. So, yeah, just under six. It's 15 centimeters. It'll be European measurements. Yeah. So that is absolutely fabulous. Now, I've gone through that pretty quick because uh, I know there were a little bit of uh, delay in some boxes getting here. And what's happened is 
I've had two boxes within a week of each other. So that was the latest one, the April, and this one was one that I'd missed at the time. And it is, it's another, it's the botanical one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this one as well. So it's like two, you get two for one here. Because I think they're going to go well together. So I'll get a much more, ooh, we'll have much more variety in the project. So I'll put everything from that first kit to one side. And then we're on to this one now. Right, let's open you carefully. I mean, I know again, and, and it's not widely reported on news, but there are delays with postal services in UK again due to staff absences. Right. Oh, this one looks like a very full kit. Oh, wowza. Oh, I have seen this one, but it's a while back now and I can't remember what's in it. Look at those little vellum strips. Oh, and they're perforated. So you can tear the bottom off. Lovely. I've got birds, butterflies. <laughs> Lots of butterflies. You know I love a butterfly. Oh, look at that. Oh, they'd be lovely in some specimen type cards. Mm, I think I might have to do that. Yes. Well, that's that. What's this? This looks interesting. Oh, is it a cute little book? Ooh. This more ve wow, more vellum. They look like tickets. Led Zeppelin. Whoa. <laughs> Blast from the past. I suppose they're still going, but. Oh, I like that. Cute little bits of ticket ephemera. Really like that. And what we've got here. Oh, I love these boxes. Don't know what's in this one. They usually labels. Oh, I like these. Oh, they're matte and they've got a lovely texture. The texture is what they call laid, L-A-I-D. I only know that from when I used to buy and sell paper years ago. Ooh, I like that texture. Oh, I love these blank ones. So you can crack out your stamps and put your own little messages on. Ooh, no. <laughs> Just no. Yeah, I know it's short for number. I love the quality of these. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing something with both these kits combined, I think. Oh, little bits of paper. Ideal for people like me who tend to get a great big... In fact, I did it in my college the other day. I got a great big A4 piece and just tore a corner off and used it. Now, if I already had little pieces, I perhaps would have more room in my craft room. Oh, there's some pretty papers. Oh, I like that green one. I'm not going to go through them all. And there's quite a few. I don't know if it tells you how many's in. No, it doesn't. There's quite a few. It's not uh, tissue, but it's pretty thin paper. I'd say it's about 80 GSM. That's my guess. I'm not a paper aficionado. Don't even know where that word came from in my brain. Oh, I like some really pretty ones. Oh, I could just, I could do a collage masterboard with squares with that one. I think that would be good. I'm loving the collage masterboards lately. I'm using them for all sorts. I do them when I've got no inspiration. I think, right, well, let's just do a collage masterboard when I don't know what to make. Keep trying to drag that off table. Right now, let's look at some stamps. Ooh, washer. Let's have a look at the washer. Oh, very pretty. Is that a little hedgehog? Flowers? Oh, I don't know if it's a hedgehog. I think I need stronger glasses. Let's reel some out and have a look. It might just be a plant. Yeah, it's a place of flower. Look at me. Is there a hedgehog? No. Oh, dear. And poppies. Lovely. So we've got poppies in that other kit. So yeah, I just knew a botanical and a floral one would go together. 
it's not rocket science that one is it right so I've had the, these box I've had quite a few of these boxes now and I must say I've never ever been disappointed now here we go with the stamps oh how can I not expect in that many although if I'd looked at label I'd see there were four oh these are pretty oh they're very similar similar but not same and a completely different size to some other stamps oh I love those they're gonna be brilliant Add a bit of interest to the plainer pages. Yeah, I think it's got to be a little journal with these. Look at me. <laughs> it's like someone's given me a present. I can't open it for another week because it's not my birthday or Christmas. And I'm trying to guess what's in it. But just open it, woman. Open it. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Got the foliage and text oh, I love that so there's the stamps I'm, I'm making sure I put each one at the appropriate side oh look at them I'm gonna have to have a look what these are I think they're just cards these I'm saying just cards there's no just about it oh the double sided even better but there's plenty of room for you to do some journaling on one side so you could judge one side up and journal on the other oh yeah I don't know how many different pictures there are oh look at that I like that that'd be lovely with sentiment on you could make a card out of these I have comments from people quite often saying will you be making any greeting cards it's a bit of a yes and no because to me, you stick any journal card or any tag on the front of a card blank and you've got a greeting card. I love these. Again, really nice quality. I'd say they're about 250 GSM. Just bear in mind, oh, all weights are guesstimates by me. It's a bit scientific really isn't it how they determine GSM so sometimes cards something that's got the same grammage which is the poundage that you use in US they will feel a different thickness so it's all a little bit relative if I could remember how they do it I'd tell you but one I can't remember two it's probably on a par with paint, watching paint dry. Oh, they were in a little box. Oh, that's so cute. So I've, I've got a made a bit of a mess getting plastic off. Oh, it's like that old thing, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's so sweet. You can tell what these are. Tickets. Oh, and they're all strung together on a bit of twine. Oh, that one's uh, acetate. Oh wow, birds, rabbits, these are absolutely stunning, owls, beautiful, oh, I'm going to have so much fun with these, so much fun, I think, do you know, I've been seeing these boxes, I was going to carry on on the same video and do a small project, having seen what's in these boxes, I think, I'm going to do a larger project. Oh, look, more stickers that match the stamps. I think I want to combine a lot of the things from both kits in a little journal. I do, I do, I do. What's this? Is that like writing paper? Yes. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we've got some uh, vellum stickers as well. What's this? Is this card? That's paper. I'm guessing this one could be card. But I could be wrong. Oh, it's sticker paper. So I was wrong. Yeah, oh, I love sticker paper. 
cuts out so much hassle with gluing things down. So I'll leave that like that and then I've had some very similar to this before. These are the washi stickers or whatever you want to call them. It's like a thin transpa transparent translucent washi tape. Love these. I'm not taking them all out because it'll take me three days to put them all back in. Oh, they go so well, don't they, with those. Perfect. Then we've got some that are just foliage. Oh, absolutely. Is that it? Is that everything? She says, with all this stuff all over her desk. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that there as the unboxing. And I'm going to come back with a separate video doing a project because there's so much there I think yeah it can make this video too long so I hope you enjoyed that that's the April kit and I think the other one was a replacement for February one I'm not sure but you get a different kit every month and as I say I've never been disappointed with one uh, all the links for your creative studio are in the description and yeah so I'll see you later on my project Thank you for watching. Bye.